Hello and welcome to part 3 of this uh, C++ coding homework where we are creating uh, animal crossing patterns. That's the assignment, basically doing uh, various patterns uh, draw, drawn by using uh, multidimensional arrays in C++. Now in previous two uh, videos we created the skeleton and we read the uh, we read the file, the input file, and we extracted the pattern number from the uh, from the text box. I mean, from the input.txt, and we also extracted the symbol that we want to use to draw the pattern. We are calling the draw patterns function and passing those uh, into it. So let's do. Let's decide what uh, what is going to need to be uh, drawn based on the pattern number 1 through 6 and va uh, validate that as well because the assignment says that we have to validate the pattern number and that only valid numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. And for that we can use a switch statement so switch and we will check the pattern number that is being passed into this function and we can simply do, if it's case 1, if the pattern number is 1, then we will, the first uh, pattern that we draw is box. So if that's the case, then we will call the draw box function and pass the pattern symbol to it as the character that is going to be used to draw the box. Alright, so let's do a break. In case two, the case two we draw the, the next one is the X symbol, I believe. Yes, second one is X and third one is plus symbol. So we will call the draw X function and once again we will pass the pattern symbol to it. It will break. And case three was the plus symbol so draw plus and I'm sure you already know how to fill the next uh, cases of this uh, switch statement because they are it's quite straightforward so case 4 we draw uh, the bordered X I believe yeah bordered X and then bordered plus and checkboard so draw bordered let me just see if I have the intelligence red bordered X and its pattern symbol another break and case 5 we draw what is it bordered plus symbol and finally we do case 6 which is draw checkerboard pattern symbol is being passed to it okay now default uh, we are putting everything into our uh, text file which is the output.txt for now, let me just do a default, just for testing purposes, to see out um, uh, invalid, invalid pattern, pattern number must be from 1 to 6. Alright, so um, that will be our default. And... Um, of our switch statement like I said we will adjust that we will actually output this into our output file as an error message so uh, but for now we can just see see out all that all right so I have our invalid pattern so if I run it now if the file is uh, okay and it opens okay I get you cannot really see anything but it opened so let me just uh, change something here I'm gonna change this to 7 
which is invalid input because the number is supposed to be 1 through uh, 6. And if I run it now, it says invalid parent, parent number must be 1 through 6. So it does recognize that one of the parents was wrong. Okay, so that seems to be working. Okay, but uh, like I said, this is supposed to go to a file called uh, the uh, parent uh, output or something like that. Uh, parents. Um, I'm going to, as a default, if there's a, a something's wrong, we will create our OF stream for the for the file, and I'll call it output file, and we will do our output file open and we are opening the file name output that's our file uh, for the output into which we will draw all the patterns and I'm going to use it for uh, append when the file exists it will just append the uh, IOS, sorry, append, and uh, so instead of C out, we will do our, I'm gonna copy paste it, our output file, we will write this error into our output file, and after that we can, uh, we can do, uh, we can also add, they want us to, based on the assignment, I believe they want us to add some two spaces or something like that, uh, I don't know if you can see it here, but it says print two blank lines between each pattern or error message. So that's one blank line and another blank line. And after that, we can uh, we can close our output file as well. Okay. So if I run it now, uh, we should it, it ran okay. So let me do the, uh, again, invalid input, and run it again. So it ran, and it should create the output file. Let me just refresh that. And uh, the patterns.txt, and it says invalid pattern, pattern number must be from 1 to 6. So it outputs into our txt file, as expected. All right, so this is uh, all the checking, uh, you know, getting the file to open from the input, making sure we have a valid input, and now we are ready to actually draw the box and X and all the other patterns as well. So um, stick around, and I will show you how to do that in the next video. Take care.